What's going on guys? Welcome back to Steve Does Stuff. I'm Steve and today we're doing some more truck camper stuff. The last time we got our back storage more or less buttoned up here. Let's take one more look. This is the kitchen section. And just look. Would you just look at it? Still super proud of myself for this. So the back is more or less handled. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be able to put in here or design for without actually using it. I've only slept in it once, so I'm not really sure what else, what other sprinklings we need in here until we get a chance to use it. So with the back being done, it's time to turn my attention to the inside. Some subway in there. So for those of you who don't have this, this is a 2016 GMC Canyon. The seats fold down and fold up, but I don't really like how much space they take up. We're taking our dog with us who, Opie is not really a small dog. So what I'm gonna be doing today is trying to remove these seats and figure out a better place. Even though they fold totally down, it's really raised up. Like it's very tall. You lose a ton of space down there. We need to have the dog back here, some food, and I also have a cooler that plugs in that we're gonna be back here. So with these seats in here, it's gonna be stacked up at the ceiling. So I am going to try and remove as much stuff as I can from here, take these seats out, and see what we're working with. So before I get too far, I have to clear out a number of years worth of stuff. Not sure what that is. Toilet paper, skeet thrower, the hanger. Oh, my Zippo lighter. Thought I lost that. Gas line, driver cover, more toilet paper. Whatever this is. Don't really spend a lot of time back here. Oh, what in the world is that? Oh, some of that good AC Delco glass cleaner. Another big reason for taking this out of here is, as you can see, there's a lot of dog hair. Uh, I try and keep my truck as clean as I can, but we have a blonde Brillo pad for a dog that sheds like it's getting paid to. I wanna try and get rid of all these because I'm afraid that having this dog in the truck after three weeks, it's gonna be terrible. So I just wanna make it less terrible. But what I've seen is you gotta split the back of the seat. I guess undo this hook clip system which holds the covers on these puppies. Split this and then you're gonna run into some bolts that attach it to this guy here. So I'm gonna do my best to split this part without breaking it. It's still below freezing because it's Canada. I'm gonna do my best with that. Already encountered my first issue. Apparently, without even touching this, it's already breaking. Which is not ideal. I don't know if that's gonna do much. <coughs> okay. Got this guy off. This is the back of the seat. There's these two bolts down here that I'm definitely gonna wanna get at. So this is attached to that. This will not let you pull back. If you wanna, if you can see in there, there's this bar. It's got another hook loop clip on there. You can pull that off and this whole thing will come off. So just push on the underside and then the whole thing just comes off. Just like that. So now that's out of the way and we can really push this thing down. Now with this unhooked, you get much better access to these two bolts back here, which as far as I can tell, are certainly not a T50. So we'll see. Get the seat off, T45, two screws. Oh, they are firmly in there. They do not wanna come out. Alrighty, our last bolt here. Got all four, 60, 40 split in the back. The driver's seat, I think we're gonna be putting our fridge and our water here, just because the driver's seat will never have to recline, whereas the dog might go behind the passenger seat so that one can lay back and you know enjoy themselves. Anything else attached? I don't think so. Look like it. All right, goodbye. Oh man, this is heavier than I thought. 
Well, that's opened up some room. God, I got a vacuum behind there. That is disgusting. It's looking like a ton more room. You know, your seat's usually here, so picked up a solid, you know, six to ten inches. I'm gonna do the other side, but this seems a lot looser than it should be. I'm no expert, but I'm not sure if that's right. I should have shown you is same thing as the last one undo these two guys this one kind of up to this bar in the seat two bolts on each side both t45 pretty nice hardware just nice and nice and gentle like slide this guy up and out Ooh, very nice much more room back here. It's looking great. I gotta vacuum this. I gotta vacuum this. This is driving me insane. Look at about 2,464 times better in here with a quick little vacuum and look at all the space for activities. I think what we gotta do now is I gotta take out the 60 section because as nice as this is, I'd still like to see if I can go lower underneath these seats is this little stop. So I want to see if I can take this right out and go flat to the floor based on the cab profile or floor profile. I'm not sure, but even if we can take these seats out, take the mounts off and then do a flat platform here, that's going to give us so, 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 so much more room. So I'm going to work these two bolts out, which look very large. And then I'm going to focus on these bolts, which I believe, please well just seat belts, believe hold these puppies in. These two bolts in here, or nuts or bolts, or I always mix these up. These two little fellas right here are T50s. So you're going to want to get yourself a nice set of Torx, Hex, nut thingies, mobobbers. Take this off. Most of them room. Oh, that was easy. So these bolts back here, all of these guys appear to be 18s. And I think we want to be very delicate with these. Yeah, I was right. Should just pick up. Uh oh. What in the world's this? Oh, nothing. We got more surprises down here. So far, so good. Oh, that seat belt looks like it was part of something. Well, I'll just, uh, I don't know what this is for. It looks important. Move the seat belt. There are three bolts on the 40 side as well. So you got two bolts here and one bolt in the center. Nothing very exciting. Oh yeah! What I thought was clean is now no longer clean. And a bunch more stuff in here. Well, that's a nice knife. But that has lowered down exponentially. So that's pretty good. We got a ton of room for storage. Now I'm going to try and take this thing out. Ooh, it's a mean looking knife. Another vacuum, so we are totally out now. So this is gonna be uncharted territory for me, but I am gonna try and take this big plastic piece out to try and get this as flat as possible. I would imagine these bolts have something to do with it, as do these guys. I'm just gonna start by zipping these two lovely little devils off. 
these little plastic fellas are probably doing something as are these little dangles so i'm just gonna start on doing stuff and yanking and see what happens these guys are off I can feel a metal bar under there so we'll see about that looks like all that's holding these things long are these little 10 millies which are easy enough to handle so for these little buggers here the method appears to be get your fingers underneath and pull up and this thing will come with it if you don't do that it's just gonna spin so Good. Ta-da! They look like drywall anchors that just burrow down into there. That's that's great. Bring her to the back. Get all my gear laid out here. So this is what we have been left with. This bar looks like it will come out. There's the bolts at the back. And then there's one T50 nut on either side. And I lost some panels along the way. Doesn't look that important. Oh, hey, look. The outside is inside now. That means this is a real dirty bolt. I'm just gonna, there. That's gotta go back in for sure. probably stand these another vacuum but that has opened up a ton more room in here I'm gonna go get a few things and just start playing around so here is roughly the plan the dog's bed takes up most of this space because well she's a big dog so I'd like to do a platform under here to kind of level this puppy up I've got my fridge back in here and it sits quite nicely up in here as you can see the floor is a little so, let's think about building a platform to here to try and keep her in place. And then, I found a nice little piece on Amazon that would fit right in here. Fit right there, and that kind of leaves just a little bit of this space open to play around with. So, I might, might just play with this platform. Try and make something up today. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so I'm kind of walking back my two-tiered theory. <clears throat> because I've got these bolts. I've got this one here from the support, and I've got that one there. So I can use those to locate a piece of wood that goes whoosh, whoosh, And that would make a nice big level surface. And I even think, I even think I have the right size board. So I'm gonna go get it, try it out. So it's kind of propped up in there, but this gets everything on an even plane. I can use these two nuts in here just to kind of locate everything. Do two super simple legs on the front to help support this. And they sit on here, so I don't have to worry about the mess off the carpet. These are just tough floor mats, so it doesn't really matter. I could even do some outdoor carpet on this just to make it a little bit nicer, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and bang these, or locate these two screws or bolts and then drill them out and just set it down and see what it looks like. But I think that looks pretty good. So to make these marks, I just put the board in place and just Hit it with my hand. Little witness marks. So it's been about an hour. This looks terrible. Bear with me. This goes over the hump in the middle. This is gonna be passenger side. This is gonna be driver's side. It's got this nice little lip to stop things from sliding forward. It locates with the two bowl holes. So I'm gonna go throw it in, see what it looks like. I give it a solid four out of 10. So now, this guy is on a nice level surface. You know, you could still fit some odds and sods under there that it goes all the way under. I didn't really brace this under here because I didn't think I was going to be putting something that heavy on here. Dog's heavy enough, but this can pack full of, you know, little things that we need, ratchet straps, we can maybe put some tools under here. Then we're going to get that nice organizer from Amazon that'll fit perfectly in here. Still open this guy up, no problem. And there's lots of seating for dopes.
So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this guy down and I am definitely gonna carpet this because this is just gonna slide all around and rattle and it's just kinda yeah, it looks pretty jank. So I might get some black carpet to match this, just some outdoor carpet and some spray adhesive and this little puppy right here. I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Steve Does Stuff. I am gonna leave the seats out of the back of my truck just because I wanna live with it for a little while. I am gonna sand it down, but I'm not gonna to bother to film that because it's boring. I'm gonna go get some outdoor carpet, and in the next one, I'll probably go into try and upholster it. But I think that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time, guys.